Paris is one of those cities that should be just on every traveler's bucket list. It is often referred to as the most romantic city in the world. It is home to several iconic landmarks frequently included in publications devoted to travel, films, and other forms of artistic expression. One of the very known and the most popular tourist destinations in Europe, Paris, also the capital of France, has a population of more than 2 million people. In addition to the Eiffel Tower, Paris has many other stunning structures and monuments that contribute to the city's overall attractiveness and enhance the appeal of its wide boulevards and little cafes. Are you excited to know more about Paris? Well here we list the top 10 places that you can visit in Paris. Number 10. Disneyland Paris the theme park known as Disneyland Paris is located near Chassy in France, about 32 kilometers or 20 miles east of Paris. It comprises a retail, dining, entertainment complex, a golf course, theme parks, resort hotels, and Disney nature resorts. Disneyland Park was one of the first of the resort's theme parks to open in 1992 when the complex first opened. Walt Disney Studios Park was the name of Disney's second theme park, which opened in 2002. In 2017, Disneyland Paris celebrated its 25th anniversary. At that point, it had 320 million guests, making it the most visited theme park in Europe. Number 9. The Notre Dame Cathedral one of the most iconic representations of the city of Paris is that the Roman Catholic Cathedral of Notre Dame de Paris, commonly preferred to as simply Notre Dame, may be found on the portion of the Ile de la Cite, which is located to the east. It is widely acknowledged as among France or Europe's most outstanding specimens of French Gothic architecture. The cathedral started in 1163 and was finished in 1345. It is an impressive sight due to the many sculptures and gargoyles that adorn the roof. Firstly, we recommend that you stroll around the cathedral and then we suggest that you go inside and climb all 387 stairs to the very top of the towers. The ascent to the top of the buildings can be taxing, but once you reach the summit, you will get a spectacular view of the breathtaking panorama of the surrounding area and an up-close look at the iconic gargoyles. Number 8. The Louvre Museum The number of people visiting an art museum yearly is highest at the Louvre in Paris. This ancient edifice was once used as a royal palace. The Louvre was originally a stronghold of Philip II, and the castle now houses the museum. Number 7. The Arc of Triumph Napoleon asked Jean Chalgrin to create a triumphal arc honoring the courage of the imperial forces after falling under the spell of classical Roman architecture. It is the most significant monument in the world and was built in the 19th century. Its pillars are adorned with striking sculptures. In addition, the top of the arc is inscribed with the names of 558 generals and notable victories. The French unknown soldier's tomb can be found beneath the Arc de Triomphe. A lovely view of Paris may be seen from the rooftop patio over the door. The Arc de Triomphe, known as the most magnificent avenue in the world, is situated on the Place de l'Etoile and has a height of 50 meters or 45 meters wide and 22 meters deep. There are numerous upscale shops like Louis Vuitton, Cartier, Guerlain, Mont Blanc, etc., entertainment venues, and renowned cafes and eateries. Number 6. The Cruise on Seine Cruise along the Seine, particularly in the evening. The illumination of the monument starts as soon as the sun goes down and proceeds steadily. You are presented with a frontal panorama that enables you to take in the splendor of Paris, including the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame Cathedral, Pont Alexandre III, and more. You may also enjoy a dinner cruise along the Seine by renting a boat for the evening and setting sail on the river. You are welcome to stay for around two hours at this time. We are glad to know that this knowledge is still keeping you interested. Stay tuned to learn more. We've attempted to collect all of these unique studies and would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to our channel and click the like button. Number 5. Montmartre The 130 meter tall hill in the north of Paris has the name of the district it surrounds. Its most notable feature is that of the Basilica of the Sacred Heart with its white dome at the top. It honored the French victims of the Franco-Prussian War of 1870 and was finished in 1919. 
visit the square of Tete a few blocks away from Basilica if you're in the region. Many painters have set up easels to paint for visitors or display their work. The Place du Tete serves as a reminder of the early 20th century period when the Montmartre was the centre of contemporary art, home to numerous painters including Amadeo Modigliani, Claude Monet, Pablo Picasso and Vincent van Gogh. In Montmartre, you can find the renowned cabaret Moulin Rouge. Number 4. Palace of Versailles The Chateau de Versailles is undoubtedly the most well-known chateau in France. Between 1682 and 1789, the Palace of Versailles served as the political epicenter of the Kingdom of France. It was built in the 17th century to symbolize France's military prowess and indicate France's preeminent position in Europe. The immense complex of buildings, gardens and terraces is a must-see for any traveller interested in the Renaissance gilded artwork, lavish furnishings and luxurious accommodations. The tour of Versailles will start in the Queen's Room, also known as the famous Hall of Mirrors. After that, you will move on to the State Apartments. Don't forget to visit the famous French Gardens and stroll through them. Number 3. The Latin Quarter, Luxembourg Park You'll find Paris's Latin Quarter on the left bank of the Seine, close to the Sorbonne. It is known for its vibrant atmosphere, student life and restaurants. Latin, previously widely spoken at and around the university because it was the dominant language of the learning throughout the world in the Middle Ages, gave the area its name. The Luxembourg Park, a private garden accessible to the general public, was established in 1612 at Marie de Medicis's request to go with the Luxembourg Palace. It is lovingly known as the Luco by the Parisians. The Palace du Luxembourg, where the Senate meets, is surrounded by the garden. You can stroll about the area, which André Le Notre redesigned. There are 106 statues, a Statue of Liberty in bronze, and three lovely fountains. Number 2. Moulin Rouge The Moulin Rouge is a famous cabaret in Paris that is considered the spiritual origin of the well-known French Can-Can dance. It was constructed in 1889 by Joseph Eller and Charles Zidler and is found in the centre of the Pigalle at the base of the Montmartre slope. The Can-Can was first performed as a form of courtship dance, but its popularity ultimately led to the formation of the Lounge, which can today be found in many nations worldwide. The Moulin Rouge is now a popular tourist destination that offers a variety of entertainment options to tourists from all over the world. Its decor and name have been ripped from other nightclubs like Las Vegas. In addition, several movies, such as the one directed by Baz Luhrmann in 2001 and starring Nicole Kidman and Ewan McGregor, have contributed to improving the cabaret's renown. And finally, number 1, the Eiffel Tower. Paris is the same as the iconic Eiffel Tower. Gustave Eiffel created it in the mark of the French Revolution's 100th anniversary and displayed it at the Exposition Universelle in Paris in 1889. It is a renowned and popular tourist attraction worldwide, drawing about 7 million tourists annually to its 324 meter height. The Eiffel Tower 58, which has two stories and rises 58 meters above the ground, is on the first floor. The best view is 115 meters on the second floor since you can see the ground below you while diving. The third level is where you can finally view Gustave Eiffel's office. Using the stairs and ascending steps are feasible. To experience the stunning panorama of Paris, you must climb the Eiffel Tower. Well, now that that topic has ended, you must have learned about these beautiful places in Paris. If you liked the video, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for further updates. Tell us how it went and if you have any suggestions, please include them down below. We really are interested in hearing what you expect from our content. Thank you once again for joining us and we'll see you in the next video.